Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can connect Zapier and Midjourney. So Midjourney is not actually an option in Zapier, so you can't do it directly. What you're going to have to do instead, you're going to have to do Discord. Now you're going to have to create a Discord server. You're going to have to pay for Midjourney and you're going to have to invite the Midjourney bot to your Discord. Now, what you want to do is you want to have some kind of so let's say you want to do a google docs do google docs new document so what we can do here is we can grab a new document so every time you put a new document into google it's going to take the content of that document and it's going to send it into discord where the mid journey bot is then the mid journey bot is going to take that information and it's going to create an image with it then what you can do is you can send this image back into the Google Doc if you wanted to so you would do new document here and what I'm saying I'm just giving this example here you could change this up I'm just trying to give you an idea of a workflow so we've got new document here next action discord send send a message continue continue pick channel general message so what you'd want to do here is um, there'll be a content one here somewhere yeah here we go file raw plain text so you could do that you could do slash imagine oh, I'm typing backwards I don't know why yeah imagine. so you do slash imagine then that that could be the text you can send that into discord continue test um this has got an error because the body that i've sent doesn't really make sense but yeah so that basically would send it to your discord then mid journey and discord would then generate the thing now what you could do is create another zap so you could create one as th and the trigger would be discord so change discord new message posted to channel and then you can select the channel then you could go google docs and you could do append text to document continue continue and then you can select the document name and then you would be able to find the image that is created and send that to the document so that's how you would automate it and it would be pretty cool because you could just type into a google doc and then from there you would get a mid journey response um, now yeah you can really automate this in any kind of way you want once you're ready press publish turn it on and you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment down below that helped. Thank you for watching.